Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another chit chat and do my nails with me. I have some life updates for you guys, some stuff I want to talk about, and I just figured this would be the best way to do it. Today we're going to do a pink glittery set of acrylic nails, so let's just get right on into it. So if you're not familiar with how I do these chit chat do my nails with me, basically I will talk about what I am using, but I'm not going to be doing it in like a tutorial way. It'll be more me talking about different topics while I do my nails. So it's not just looking at my face the entire time. And there's something else. First, I'm just going to prep my nails, push back the cuticles, buff them, and put the primer and dehydrator on, not in that order. <laughs> So I think that it's really important that the first topic that we cover today is the Black Lives Matter movement right now. That's why I did not upload last week because I wanted to let that be the main topic on everyone's minds. As a privileged white woman, I obviously will never know what it is like for black people, but I do want to do my best to be an ally. I have taken time to learn and educate myself and try to do my best to support the movement. I don't normally speak up on stuff like this because I've preferred to not be like political, but I have come to realize that it is a privilege to be able to think like that because I don't have to experience it. And I want to do my best to raise some awareness with the platform that I have been given. So I'm going to leave a bunch of links below so you can sign some petitions and donate to some of the places that I have donated to. And I want to encourage everyone who maybe hasn't taken the time to do some research or try to educate yourself more on this movement and everything that is going on right now to do so. There are some really good documentaries that you can watch. You guys know that I love documentaries. So that has been one of the ways that I've educated myself with this. So yeah, I'm going to leave a bunch of stuff down in the description box for you to do so as well. So I am going to do a coffin shape today instead of stiletto, which I normally always do stiletto, but I've been wanting to do some coffin ones. So today I'm actually going to be working with acrylic. So just to go over everything I'm going to be using really quick, I have this hard candy clear acrylic, this glam and glitz acrylic in heartbreaker, this Pixie Gold Acrylic from Vanessa's Nails, this dip powder from Sparkle & Co, and I'm going to be using it with my Mia Secret Monomer, and my Candy Coat number 12 acrylic brush. Look at how pretty this is. I love that. When I opened this, I my boyfriend was there and he was looking at it and he was like, it looks like liquid because the powder is so fine and I was like, oh, it does. Like it really does look like liquid because it is so fine. So this will be fun to use. I've never used Glam and Glitz before, so I'm excited to try this. Okay, so let's get started on the nails. I'm going to move on to some other topics. I don't also don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to gloss over that topic. I am nervous speaking about this kind of stuff because I don't want to say the wrong thing. I do really care about everyone's feelings. And so I get nervous trying to speak about this stuff to help but not overshadow the voices that should be heard and stuff like that. So I don't want it to seem like I'm trying to minimize it or anything. I am just trying to do my best with talking about the subject. So I am going to move on to some other subjects. Last week, I had quite the week. I know I've talked to you guys quite often, actually, about some of the medications that I've been on. I've been really working on my mental health, etc. So whew, last week, I started on a new medication. Now, normally I wouldn't say what medication it is, but because the side effects with this kind of stuff, a lot of people messaged me already knowing what it was when I had posted about it on my Instagram. And I feel like it's important that if you start taking this medication and you get these side effects that you stop. And I feel like that should be known because my doctor did tell me, but I know some people told me that they didn't know they this could happen, etc. So I started taking, I again, don't know how to pronounce it exactly, Lamactyl, I think. I'm gonna say Lamactyl. I hope that's how it's actually pronounced. I'm not sure. It was going good for a week and a half. I feel like I started. it started to help me. And then a couple days, last week, last, maybe it was last weekend, I don't remember. Me and my boyfriend spent two consecutive days brushing the dogs, clipping their nails, just doing, you know, regular dog grooming activities, I guess. 
and we don't usually spend a ton of time outside so I got a little spot and it sort I sort of had a little bit of a rash and I thought it was because of a bug bite so I of course was still taking my medication because I thought it was just from a bug bite or whatever then like a day or so later the rash really started spreading from the one spot that I had to my knees, my elbows, my hands, my feet, and my face. I woke up one morning and my lips were double the size that they normally was and my face was starting to have sort of a rash on it and it was swollen. And I knew something wasn't right immediately when I woke up because I could feel how heavy my lips were. Wow, this is such a gorgeous pink. Anyway, so I knew something wasn't right. I got out of bed, I told my boyfriend and he was really concerned. So I of course took some Benadryl because that's usually what you do when you have some sort of allergic reaction going on. And I wasn't sure what it was. That night before I washed our sheets and I used a new fabric softener. So immediately I was like, oh, it's my fabric softener, of course. So we took everything off the bed, switched the sheets, etc. And I had to take two Benadryls and you know, there are some people that can just take Benadryl and not pass out for 12 hours, but I am not one of those people. So I think it was 11 a.m. ish. I went back to sleep in the bed after we had changed the sheets and I thought I was gonna wake up and everything was gonna be fine. So I woke up, I don't remember too much, at maybe like five or something like that. I woke up, I was hungry and I still had a little bit of a rash and my lips were still a bit swollen. And I was like, huh, this is kind of weird because usually Benadryl, you know, should take away a lot of those symptoms unless it's like a major, major reaction. So I was maybe thinking it was still lingering from that. And so I took more Benadryl <laughs> and went back to sleep and I woke up at like 10 and the rash was worse. So I was like, okay, don't think it's my sheets or anything like that. And then I, realized that it was the medication. And after Googling about it, the rash that you can get from the medication can get really, really serious. So it's really important that if you do get the rash that you stop taking it immediately. So obviously you guys can see from the pictures, it got pretty bad. So I talked to my doctor and I stopped taking it, but the rash lingered on much longer than I had preferred. It stayed for almost like the entire week. It's still not 100% gone. I would say it's 90, 95% gone now, but it took almost a full week-ish at this point for it to die down. I think because it makes inflammation and everything worse from what I was reading, it's not just get, like getting hives where you'll get hives and it'll go away and it'll look like nothing was there. This sort of left like kind of like a little mark. You can see a little bit on my hands still where all these little dots are here, 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 all this. This was all a rash. I had it all over my hands. It was really bad. So it's taken quite a long time for it to not look like that. And although the Benadryl wasn't helping too much with the rash, it was helping with the swelling of my lips and sort of my face. And I wasn't sure if it was my mind making my throat feel weird or if it was actually starting to swell. So I kept taking Benadryl. So I was asleep for like 36 out of 48 hours for like two of the days because I was just taking so much Benadryl. And along with my anxiety meds, I was just out. So I just figured I wanted to update you guys on the chronicles of my medication journey at this point because I feel like I've already talked about it so much. I have not started anything new because I think my doctor wants to make sure that it's all gone and you know, there's nothing that's going to interact with whatever new medication I try. I did want to talk about it because I know a lot of people were concerned when I posted it on my Instagram because reactions are no joke. So yeah, there's that. With this, I'm trying to do the thing where I make like a nail bed and then I'm gonna do this color on here. But shaping the nail bed is pretty difficult, especially when you're not like amazing with acrylic. It's been a long time since I have worked with acrylic at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the other one that I wanna do on this finger and then I'm gonna let this dry and then I will file it to the shape that I want it to be. So something I was so mad that I completely forgot to talk about in my last chit chat, do my nails with me was the weather. <laughs> 
Nashville has been on another level with its weather lately. I thought when I moved here, it was going to be a lot calmer than Portland. You know, I remember when we lived in Portland, we had one of like the hottest summers on record. And I was like, what the heck? We moved here because we thought it was gonna be like rainy and overcast. And then we got like one of the hottest summers there ever was. And then we moved to Nashville and we get, I guess, one of like the wettest years or seasons that it's been. I feel like I just attract crazy weather. A couple weeks ago, we had a derecho. 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 And it was so crazy. I thought that it was going to be a tornado and there was a pretty bad tornado here in Nashville a couple months ago, but it just came out of nowhere. So a de derecho. Derecho. So derecho is basically like a big line of really, really powerful wind. It's not swirling, it's just like a line of it. And I've never been in a tornado or anything like that, so I don't know exactly what that looks like. <laughs> so essentially, me and my boyfriend are just sitting there watching TV and it just got crazy outside. It got dark and it started raining and I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of crazy because we've had a lot of rain. We've had a lot of bad rain. So that's what I thought was happening. I thought it was gonna be a tornado. So me and my boyfriend are like trying to figure out like, do we go like sit in the bathtub? Because we've never gone through this. And I was like looking up if there's a tame tornado and it said that there wasn't. So I was like, okay, I'm sure the siren would be going off if there was. So I just kind of watched outside for a bit. And I think I have a little clip of what was going on but it was so crazy. The next day, there was so many fallen trees. I pretty much could not get out of my neighborhood. I would go to get out one way and there was a fallen tree and I'd go to get out another way and there was a fallen tree. So I had to like maneuver all through like a bunch of different streets to try to get out of my neighborhood because like all of the main ways were blocked by fallen over trees. I have a little section in between mine in my neighbor's house and i don't know whose property it is it might be like the state's property it might be their property it might be our property i'm not sure but both of our fences are fenced off from it so it's like both of our fences and then there's this like area in between and it's just a bunch of trees and one of the trees fell on my neighbor's backyard deck i didn't really look too too much into their yard but I just went out to look and see if any of our trees had fallen and everything like that. And I did notice that one did fall on them and the fence was all bent and everything like that. But it was really, really crazy and it was really scary. All of my dogs do not like storms much. So I have to make sure that they get comforted properly and make sure that we sit and pet them and make sure that they know that they're okay. From what I was reading, the winds got up to like 60 or 70 miles an hour, which is insane for it not even being like a tornado. It was crazy. And then a day or two after, maybe the next day, there was, it wasn't another one of those, but it was just another strong storm where I think winds got up to like 40 miles an hour. So that definitely didn't help the tree situation or everything else that was already going on, everything falling on the power lines. I know a lot of people did not have power. Luckily, I still had power, but I know there was a lot of people who didn't for like a full day after because of all the trees on the power lines. It was just crazy. Since then, I don't think we've had as many crazy storms, but I just feel like the crazy weather follows me everywhere now. So here are the nails so far. I'm going to file these two into the shape I want and I need to put a clear cap on all of these. It just takes a little bit extra time for the dip powder to harden when you use it with monomer. And so I just wanted to give those time to dry before I put more stuff on it. So I'm gonna file these. Been waiting, meditating just to get by. Now I'm ready and I'm fighting to the last line. I'm lucky and I'm feeling that ease, that ease, that ease, yeah, yeah. You're losing. Okay, so now that I did these two, I'm going to put this glitter over the top for the tip. So something else I want to talk about and I'm talking to one of you directly. You'll, you'll know who you are. There is someone going around to companies pretending to be me and trying to get nail products. I don't know who it is, although I'm pretty sure if I wanted to really do some digging, I'm sure I could get the info from one of these companies, but I've gotten 
three or four, however many DMs from these companies asking me if the email that they got was from me. And so I have to tell them, no, it's not. So I just want to put this out there. I don't email companies asking for free stuff ever. Maybe I asked to be on PR one time three or four years ago. I can say I've not sent out an email asking for free product in years. So it is not me. <laughs> so if you are a business owner that gets one of these emails, I'm sorry, there's not that much that I can do unless I really want to try to like maybe get them for impersonation or something like that, but just quit it. That's not cool. I do not even handle any of my collaborations or partnerships or whatever PR anything myself anymore. I have a manager, so if you're not getting an email from my manager, <laughs> it's not from me. But just know that these companies are double checking with me and I'm getting back to them, especially since my business email is public so they can go and check and see if it came from me, which they pretty much already know that it didn't. I'm really loving how the set is turning out. I have not done acrylic in so long, but I feel like these are looking a lot better than they normally do with the poly gel. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm taking more time with it today, I'm not sure. So now that I have all of this on, I'm going to put a clear coat on this one, this one, and this one, and then I'm gonna file off these little glitters on the nails with the fake nail bed, and then I will clear cap those, and then we'll be on our way. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put rhinestones on these or not. I feel like, I don't know, they might just hold on their own, but we'll have to see. I didn't end up using this pixie gold that I got out. I wasn't sure if I wanted to diversify the glitter color or anything like that, but I am kind of liking just how the pink just looks all by itself. There we go. I don't think these are too, too thick. They're not thin, but they're not too thick. I don't want to spend like three hours filing these. You guys will have to let me know if you like this setup and if it sounds okay. I'm actually filming in my vanity room, which is not normal. Usually I go and film in my, like my living room or something like that, but it gets kind of difficult to work out there when my boyfriend has a bunch of meetings and stuff like that. So I needed some quiet. Okay, so here are the nails so far. I'm going to file them. I'm not going to show that process because no one wants to hear filing sounds and it's just, I feel like it's kind of boring. Let me know if you like me keeping in the filing or not, but I just kind of feel like it's just like a part where everyone kind of skips over. So yeah, let me know. I'm gonna file these really quick and I'll be back to put on a top coat and maybe some gems. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Okay, so I'm back from filing, and when I filed, I did end up filing into some of the glitter, so that is why there's a bunch of silver pieces. But what I decided to do to fix that, because I really want it just pink, I don't want it like pink and silver, is I'm gonna go over with this Blooming Nail Gel Polish. It's not gel polish though, it's like ink, and just make the color all basically one color and cover up that silver and make the pink a little bit more intense, so. I'm just going to grab that and I'm just going to try to paint it on in an even coat. It's obviously not going to be 100% the same color, but if I can at least tint the silver pink, I'll be happy. Okay, I gotta be careful on these two, so that way I don't get it on the nail bed part. I can always clean it up with rubbing alcohol as well, but it's better to do it right the first time, which I didn't. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to clean that little bit up with some rubbing alcohol. So here they are now, a bit more intense, which is what I wanted. So now I'm gonna put some gel polish over. This is just the Candy Coat Super Shiny Top Coat. Ooh, it's looking so pretty. The ink did bleed a little bit, so I'm gonna try not to cover any of that and then just wash my hands and hope that it all comes off nice and smooth. So let me just cure those really quick. So I have a little bit of pink staining from the ink, 
But other than that, here are the nails. I love how these turned out. I think this is one of my best sets I've ever done. They're all shaped really nice. They're not too thick. They're really shiny. I'm really happy with how these turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if I'm looking off over here. I'm trying to look at my monitor to make sure it's in focus. Please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.